Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Weekly Crop. This week, we are continuing our streaming series. Last week, we talked about the Podcaster Pro, which is an amazing product. And it kind of ties in, actually, with this week's product, which is the Sling Studio. Now, if you haven't heard about this product, uh, it is a very incredible product. It's actually revolutionary in some respects. We talked last week about how much the technology has changed when it comes to the streaming space. Um, and you used to need a dedicated computer with dedicated hardware and specific software. And oftentimes, a lot of the elements wouldn't work. Um, you know, there's a lot of you know stumbling blocks along the way. Um, and that really is a is a gate to stop uh, a lot of people who want to get into streaming or multi-camera production and are just too intimidated by it. And this really just takes all of that away. So you start with this hub here, which can be powered both AC or uh, DC, or with basically a DC battery. Um, and the this thing in itself only weighs three pounds. Uh, the battery lasts for three hours. Um, and uh, one of the really great things about it is that you can plug in up to 10 sources. Uh, only four are live at any one time, but let's imagine you just got four, so you got four cameras. Here in my studio today, I've actually just set up two. I've got one camera here, which is actually my iPhone. So I'm using my iPhone right now. Um, and that's, uh, well, the exposure on my iPhone is a bit garbage just because it's a bit of a challenging environment for an iPhone, I would say. Um, and then we also, I'm just going to do a little live switch here. Bam. And now we've got another production camera here. And the reason our production camera can work is because we are using these CamLink boxes, basically just a another Wi-Fi transmitting box through HMI. Um, and so if you get this per camera, it uh, allows you to transmit up to, very reliably, up to 300 feet away. It's been tested to go a little bit beyond that. Um, you know, I've, I've seen up to like something like two city blocks, um, but reliably uh, 300 feet away, you'll get a pretty good signal. So this is a great product, for example, if you're, you know, an educator or uh, if you're in a house of worship or anything like that and you just want to eliminate cables you're doing a multi-cam event uh, in a multi-cam production but you just don't want to run all these cables or you've got some mobile cameramen constantly moving around um, it's a great platform for that now if you didn't really have any intention on live streaming but instead you want to capture a multi-camera event whether it be a panel discussion a concert house of worship high school football game whatever that might be uh, that's where the sling studio again kind of holds the trump card a little bit um, because it has the SD card and you're allowed to record internally, um, you don't even need external Wi-Fi. This creates its own Wi-Fi signal. So if you're not broadcasting, there's no need to, you know, you can basically do this uh, in a forest, for example. Uh, you don't need a data or Wi-Fi signal. This will just create its own and it will record directly onto the SD card. You can now go back in, you can live switch the event, go back in and then fine tune it because you have all the stems there. Um, and you know, if you kind of screwed up one of the cuts or one of the transitions, you can go in and repair that and then upload for archive or for any display network that you want. So it's a really great device for that. Um, now the, like I said, the battery lasts three hours, but again, you can plug it in as well. And then when it comes to streaming out, if you're uncertain about the quality of your Wi-Fi where you are, uh, then they've also included uh, this guy here. This is the uh, Sling Studio, Studio uh, USB and Ethernet adapter. So if you are uncertain about the quality of your Wi-Fi, but you can patch directly into your DSL line uh, or your Ethernet line, then this will allow you to do that. And then you're guaranteed to be continuously getting that feed out without any interruption. So the last thing I want to talk about is just the mobile app interface for the Stream Studio. And honestly, guys, it could not be any easier to use. I'm not a huge instructions guy. I like to just kind of like press buttons and see where it takes me. Uh, and if you're one of those people, you'd be happy to hear that it is very much plug and play. Uh, as soon as I opened up the app, it immediately found the hub and connected to it. And that was great. Um, and then as far as the app interface, I know that in the past with a lot of streaming stuff I've dealt with, I've been really uh, challenged by its interface and and the complexity of its interface and getting things to work the way I want it to work. Um, a lot of struggles I had there. I've had zero struggles with this. It is super intuitive, super easy to use. The user interface is very intelligently designed. Um, and it's got a, a couple basic um, sort of panels that are really easily laid out. So you've got your graphics panel. And the graphics panel is great because uh, you can actually add your own graphics. You can create your own. Um, and it's got your audio mixer as well. So you have full control of your audio. But then we come back to our video sources and our preview, uh, it's a great system because just like all tablets, everything is sort of like touch and drag and drop, right? So uh, I can basically select one of my feeds and I can drop it into uh, a preview feed and then I can move that preview into program. Uh, then uh, I can also, if I want, just go directly into program um, and that will also 
uh, to the switch for me. And I can designate how I want that switch to occur, whether I want it to be a fade or a wipe or just a hard cut. Um, I can do all those things. And this is capable of so much more as well, but basically the whole point I'm trying to make here is if you are eager to get live streams out or start recording multicam and you don't want all the intimidation and you want a system that's reliable and that works, Folks, this is it right here. It works really, really well. I'm super impressed with it, um, and I'm super impressed with what it can do. And that's pretty much it for this week, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions on this product or any one of our sort of streaming products, please give us a call here at VizTech. Visit one of our stores or visit us online at viztech.ca. And as always, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you as part of this channel. Comment in the comment section below and find us on all the things like the grams and the Facebooks and all that. As for today, that is it. Thanks so much for watching and happy shooting.